Chapter 4, Glitch in the Systems As the ship herded through the cosmos, the crew went about their tasks diligently. Rodriguez was in the engineering bay, fine-tuning the ship's propulsion systems, while Martinez monitored environmental data from her workstation. Lieutenant Harper sat at her console on the bridge, keeping an eye on signals and incoming data. Crew member Davis and crew member Nguyen were busy assisting with various tasks when a notification pinged on Harper's screen. Furrowing her brow, Harper examined the data and then turned to the two crew members. Hey, we've got a minor glitch in the life support systems. Nothing major, but we need to fix it before it becomes an issue. Davis nodded, looking concerned. What's the problem, Lieutenant? Harper explained, looks like a sensor malfunction in one of the oxygen recyclers. We need to recalibrate it. Nguyen, grab the toolkit. We'll head to the life support compartment. As they made their way through the ship's corridors, Nguyen asked, is this a common issue? Harper sighed, not really, but it happens. Space is unpredictable, and our equipment is top-notch, but even the best has its quirks. Arriving at the life support compartment, the crew members set to work. The hum of machinery surrounded them as they recalibrated the sensor. Harper provided instructions, and Davis handed her tools. As they worked, Davis commented, It's a good thing you caught this early, Lieutenant. Imagine if we were halfway to Seraphis and the life support started acting up. Harper smirked, That's why they pay me the big space box. Always one step ahead. Crew member Nguyen chuckled, big space box, ha! Huh? Can't wait to spend those on Seraphis. After successfully resolving the issue, the trio made their way back to the bridge. Captain Dillon looked up from his captain's chair. Everything sorted, Harper. Harper smirked, all systems go, Captain. Just a minor hiccup. We're back on track. Dillon grinned, that's what I like to hear. Seraphis, here we come. Chapter 5, Veiled Shadows The ship sailed through the cosmic sea, its hum a constant lull in the background. Captain Dylan Steele reclined in his quarters, enjoying a rare moment of solitude. Meanwhile, Lieutenant Harper, now in charge, worked diligently on the bridge, overseeing the ship's systems. Late in the night, Harper hesitated outside Dylan's door. She debated whether to disturb him but knew that duty came first. She knocked, the sound echoing through the quiet corridor. Dylan, startled from his thoughts, called out, What's the matter, Harper? Can a captain get some beauty sleep? The door slid open, revealing Harper, fatigue etched on her face. Sorry to bother you, Captain. There's a minor issue with the environmental controls. I need your input. Dylan sighed, sitting up. Can it wait until morning? I'm in the middle of a crucial mission briefing, of sorts. Harper raised an eyebrow. A mission briefing at this hour? Dylan chuckled nervously. Yeah, you know, planning our approach to Seraphis. Lots to consider. Harper studied him for a moment, then glanced around the room. Dylan, aware of the letters on the table, subtly shifted in his chair. Harper, however, didn't seem to notice. What's the issue with the environmental controls? Dylan asked, hoping to steer the conversation away from the personal. Harper, focused on her duty, explained the problem. As she spoke, Dylan's eyes darted to the table, where the letters lay untouched. The air in the room seemed to crackle with the unspoken acknowledgement of the secrets between them. After resolving the environmental issue, Harper prepared to leave. That should do it, Captain. Sorry to disturb you. Dylan nodded, his mind elsewhere. No problem, Lieutenant. Duty calls. As Harper left, Dylan couldn't shake the feeling that she knew more than she let on. He sighed, glancing at the table where the letters lay undisturbed. The veiled shadows of his past lingered, and he wondered how long he could keep them hidden in the vast expanse of space. Chapter 6, A Captain's Initiative the ship's mess hall was abuzz with the clatter of cutlery and the aroma of freshly prepared breakfast. Dylan, in a surprisingly good mood, sat at the head of the table, savoring the camaraderie of the team. 
Specialist Martinez, responsible for today's meal, bustled around the galley, ensuring everyone had their share. Crew member Davis, taking a big bite of scrambled eggs, grinned at Dylan. Captain, these eggs are out of this world. Or maybe out of this galaxy, considering where we're headed. Dylan chuckled, glad you like them, Davis. Martinez is our culinary maestro today. Martinez, wiping her hands on an apron, joined the conversation. Just doing my part to keep morale high. As the team enjoyed their meal, conversation shifted to the mission itself. Rodriguez, raising her coffee cup, asked, So, Captain, what's the plan when we reach Seraphis? Are we diving in head first, or are we taking it slow and steady? Dylan, leaning back in his chair, considered the question. Good question, Rodriguez. We'll approach cautiously, gather data from orbit, and then decide on a landing site. The last thing we want is to touch down in the middle of a cosmic surprise party. Crew member Nguyen, sipping on juice, added, What if Seraphis has inhabitants? Intelligent life, I mean. Dylan grinned, that's why we're here, Nguyen. To find out. But let's not jump to conclusions. Our first contact might be with space rocks or some intergalactic space critters. After breakfast, Dylan gathered the used dishes and utensils, a mischievous glint in his eye. I've got a special delivery to make, he announced. The team exchanged puzzled looks as Dylan headed for the bridge, balancing a tray of breakfast treats. The bridge door hissed open, revealing Lieutenant Harper focused on her duties. Dylan cleared his throat, Lieutenant, I come bearing gifts. Breakfast of Champions. Harper looked up, surprised. Captain, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be taking it easy? Dylan placed the tray on the console. I figured the person in charge could use a break. Consider it a captain's prerogative. Harper smiled, appreciating the gesture. Thanks, Captain. I could use a break. Dylan leaned against the console. Consider yourself relieved, Lieutenant. I'll take over from here. As Harper enjoyed her impromptu breakfast, Dylan assumed the captain's chair, ready to guide the ship through the cosmic expanse. The crew, now with a change in command, continued their duties with a mix of curiosity and amusement, wondering what other surprises the journey to Seraphis had in store.